Thanks for coming back to the channel, you guys. Today, we're going to talk a little bit about the recent acquisition of Activision Blizzard by Microsoft, what this means for the video game community at large, and is this really as big of a deal as some folks are making it out to be? That's coming up right now. On Tuesday, Microsoft announced that it would be buying video game producer and publisher Activision Blizzard for over $68 billion, surpassing its next largest purchase of LinkedIn by more than $42 billion, uh, making it now the third largest video game company in the world behind only Tencent and Sony. This purchase is coming on the heels of Activision Blizzard having a lot of issues publicly with workplace, allega workplace harassment allegations, and many have called for their CEO Bobby Kotick to step down. Uh, instead, what they're doing is what a lot of multi-billion dollar companies and CEOs will do, which is if they get caught doing something pretty terrible, uh, they'll just sell the company, take a nice big bonus, step away, and start a project elsewhere. And as has been laid out in some reports, Kodak does appear he will stick around for the transition period, but then will be stepping down as soon as uh, Xbox takes full control over Activision, um, which, you know, however you feel about it, it's probably a good thing this guy isn't going to be around anymore. With that said, it's probably a pretty fair bet that Bobby Kodak is going to end up somewhere else running another company, um, maybe a little less publicly for a little while. But if there's one thing we know, it's that ethics are never going to get in the way of making an ass load of money. But we're, let's move on to, to what this big purchase really means for video gamers and uh, the future of the games that were uh, associated with Activision and Blizzard. So as we look at the list of uh, games from both Activision and Blizzard, um, something to keep in mind is, you know, despite this sale happening, it doesn't mean that, you know, all of the team members from either of these uh, developers or publishers are going to be leaving overnight. It's That's not going to happen. I mean, mostly everybody that is involved in working on any of these franchises are going to stay in the places they were because ultimately they're, they're not a part of any of the problems that were going on with um, the CEO, Bobby Kotick, um, or any of those issues. So, you know, these games, while this is still a monumentally huge purchase, it isn't going to be the, you know, it's, I don't believe this is this is a, as big of a deal as a lot of people are making it out to be. I, you know, maybe think of it in, in this kind of term. So, you know, if you go to the grocery store and you buy your favorite, you know, breakfast cereal, um, chances are that cereal um, is no longer made by the same company it was made by when, when it came out originally. It's still the same cereal, tastes exactly the same. Somebody just bought it, bought the brand, and continues to sell it exactly how it is. And that's basically what's going to continue happening here. Now, what what does change is um, all of the you know all the tools and resources behind microsoft now get to be transferred uh, to both activision and blizzard and while both of those companies had lots of resources microsoft obviously is still a much bigger company than either of those two ever were so in that regard it does open the door for maybe more research and development more uh, more money just being put into development in general so in that sense it's a very good thing but you know don't expect this to change the the landscape of gaming overnight like i keep hearing that you know headline being thrown around i just think it's ridiculous it's just a way to catch people's attention the reality is it's a major purchase they're, they're buying the rights to the to these games so they can sell them for themselves that's it that's really all that's going on here but that being said it's still like i said a huge purchase 68 billion dollars is a lot of money and um it'll be interesting to see what kind of extra resources Microsoft is uh, going to start throwing into some of these games? Will they re maybe revamp some old games that have died, like World of Warcraft, a bit? Um, it'll be interesting to find out. But I do appreciate you guys stopping by, and I hope you have a great week. We'll see you later on.